Hi, what's up? You're welcome back to another video, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to obtain all fighting styles in GPO. But before we get started, if you're new, make sure you drop a sub, drop a like, and if you're already subbed, turn on the notification bell. And thank you all for 1.2k subs. Let's go for 1.5. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The first fighting style in the game is the basic fighting style which you spawn in with. If you're brand new in the game, you're gonna spawn this island, starter island, and you will have the beginner fighting style. It only has two moves, not much to say about it. Next, I'm gonna show you how to get black leg. So, black leg can be found at the Barashi restaurant in the head northwest, and you should be there. And yep, we're here at the restaurant Burashi. Then come round here to the back. And here you're gonna find Sanji. Basically, he's gonna give you like the first move. Then after you put your stats in, you'll come back and talk to him repeatedly. And you'll have to pay. And then finally you'll have the entire move set. Next up we have Diablo Jamve. Basically, you're gonna wanna head to an island called Coco. That's where you'll find the Diablo Jambi trainer, so I'm gonna head there right now. And to obtain a Diablo Jambi, you need to have Black Lake first, and about like 125 in uh, Black Lake Mastery. And then you talk to the NPC. So I'm gonna head there right now. And yep, I am here at Coco Island. So basically, this one I head up here. The trainer for Diablo Jump is actually in this hut. So basically, you talk to her. She says that because um, when I don't have Diablo Jump, I actually have Luku Shiki. So yeah, but I'm going to repeat again. You cannot get Diablo Jump if you don't have Black Lake first. And you're gonna need 78k in total to unlock the entirety of uh, Diablo Jump. Money shouldn't be that hard to find. And this is super useful. There's a trainer here that allows you to skywalk with every race. Like for example, I don't need um, the Bushiki to skywalk anymore. I only have it for taking and using like Jumbo or something. Get this, you can get with any race, one sword style, two sword style, anything you want. And next, I'm gonna show you all how to get Rukushiki. So, Rukushiki is the fighting style that I'm using right now. And you're gonna wanna head southwest until you see a, like a large pillar. Well, if you're like me and can't find it that way, I suggest first going to Shellstown and then head east. Down, as I'm about to do. I am the head shells down next to the turn. Then you're gonna see like a Skypea waterfall over there. That's not it. The island you're looking for is right here. I'm not even gonna lie, I almost got lost. But yep, now let's set up there. Um, if you don't have Gepo, <laughs> you're gonna have to climb up the rocks. And to climb, all you have to do is hit control. This. Climb. It's mad slow. 
but if you do have Gepo, just jump up here, then you're gonna find Lifa. And yeah, that's basically how you get look shitty. It's the same as all the other ones, you're gonna have to keep coming and talking back. And in total, it's gonna cost you about 16,500, I think. Next, I'm gonna show you all how to obtain Mink Combat slash Electro between West and Northwest from Shellstown. Uh, I mean, not from Shellstown, from the town of Beginnings. Uh, yeah. And yep, there it is, the island of Zoom. So to obtain this fighting style, you're gonna wanna be a mink. Right now I'm currently a Skypian, so I can't obtain it. And then next, you're gonna want to collect carrots. So the way you can obtain carrots is um, by killing these NPCs here. Um, I don't think you can drop them, but. Yeah, every time you kill one of these Zoo NPCs, they have a chance of dropping a carrot. I'm all maxed out on carrots right now. No, I'm not. Yep, as you can see, I just got a carrot. And once you have enough carrots, you're gonna wanna head up here and talk to. Yeah, if you're a mink, if you're not a mink, she won't even talk to you. I'll just tell you she's looking for carrots. And there's some chests here for you if you're low on money and need to pay for mink. And that's because in total it's gonna cost you 15,000 and actually it's 25 carrots, not 55. Just 25 carrots, 15,000 and you can talk to her and she will give you the fighting style. Next up is Fishman Karate to Fishman Island. I'm gonna warn you now. <laughs> This is one of the most annoying things you're gonna do the entire game. So, to head to the Fishman Cave, all you have to do is head between north and northeast from the Starter Island. And here we are at the Fishman Cave. So, when you reach here, you're going to need a bubble. And you buy a bubble from your homie Brad over here costs 2k it could get expensive if you die too many times basically i'm going to show you how to get through the cave right now so you go in then you go down yeah sharks are gonna spawn on you so you're gonna wanna you'll have to fight them off but basically you come down here you go left then you go right then left again Go to hell! Sometimes the tracks become so strong. Um, keep in mind if you run out of air, you are gonna start losing air. Get off me! Oh my god! But yeah, want space to go back up. That's if you get lost. Is an anatomy? <laughs> so, <laughs> once you get in here, you wanna just come this way. You're gonna pass the Robo, the spawn guy. Come up here. And you're gonna find Jimbe somewhere. Yep, and you'll find Jimbe right here. And you talk to him, give him some shark teeth, some cash. Alright, next I'm gonna show you how to obtain the sword star. So, you're gonna wanna head to an island called uh, Roka. And that's where you're gonna find Zoro, the trainer for one sword star. And the island is. Uh, Northeast from the town of beginnings, just head northeast and you'll be able. And we are finally here at Roka Island. 
So basically, you wanna head all the way up there. And then first, you need to need a katana, because obviously you can't use one sword style without one. So you just come in here, to this house. It's the second house with the stairs over there. And you come in here, you buy the katana. It costs a thousand baby. And after that, you come in here, talk to my boy Zoro. And for one sword style, it's gonna cost you like. I'm not sure, I'll just put it up on the screen. And if you want to think to sword style, you have one sword style max. Next, I'm gonna show you how to obtain two sword style. So basically, first you wanna come to Sandora. If you don't know where it is, the starter island is in that direction. So from there, you just wanna head east and you'll run into Sandora. And next is follow me. Once you get here, you just wanna come to like uh, this middle block over here. Then you head north towards Sashi Island. Sashi Island, you followed what I said. Probably still won't find it. Okay. Sword style first, maxed, and then about 125 in sword to obtain everything into sword style. And the way you obtain it is that you pay him 10k to fight him, and every time you beat him, you get a move. There's five moves to obtain. So if you don't die, that's that's like 50k. Yeah, 